Hello! In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a knotted diamond braid with woven parts. This is my hairstyle EXO. I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. If you like my channel, please show some love by subscribe and clicking the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the, my channel. Take first small section for the left sided strand. Then pick up even smaller strand. Bring the small strand over the bigger. Push two fingers between the sections and pull the smaller one through the loop. Tighten the knot. Then pick up the right sided section about the same amount hair as on the left side. Then bring the small section under that one. Push your fingers between the sections and pull the small section back to the middle. Add some hair to the left hair strand. Then bring the small strand again over the left. Push the fingers between the strands and pull the section through the loop. Add hair now on the right strand. Then create a knot. Bring the small strand under the right strand. Push your fingers between the sections and pull the small section through that loop. Tie the knot. Add hair to the left strand. Bring the small section over. Push your fingers between the sections and pull the small section through. Add hair to the right strand. Bring the small section under, push your fingers between and pull the strand back to the middle. Add hair. Bring over and pull through the loop creating a knot. Add hair. When your smallest hair sections start to getting too tiny, add hair from the side strands. Like this. Then keep on braiding. Bring the strand under and pull the end through the loop creating a knot. Add hair. Bring the strand over and pull through the loop. Add hair. Bring the strand under and pull the end through the loop. Basically, you just create a knot after knot on both sides strands. Just remember that on the left side you need to bring the strand over the side strand and then create a knot. And on the right side you need to bring the strand first under and then create a knot. If your braid will become too loose looking, you can always pull the strands upwards just using your hands. If you're working with the natural hair on this hairstyle, I suggest you to use lots of water to keep hair nice and neat.
Next, I will start to leave sections for the woven parts. So, leave the section out from the left side. Then create a knot just like before. Bring the strand over and pull it back together between the sections. Then leave the section out from the right side. Take the small section, bring it under the right side strand and pull back to the middle between the sections, creating a knot. Next, I add a little bit more hair to the small strand. Then, leave the section out of the left side. Take the small strand, bring it over and pull the section through, creating a knot. Leave the small section out of the right side. Then, bring the small strand under the right sided strand. Push your fingers between the sections and pull the end of the strand through the loop. Leave the section out of the left side. Bring the small strand over and create a knot. Then leave some hair out of the right side. Bring the middle section under, push your fingers between the sections and pull the end through creating a knot. Keep on repeating this same pattern until you have at least 10 sections of hair on both sides which you have left out of the braid. Notice that all these strands you leave out of the braid must be equal. If they are different sizes, it's very difficult to create the woven part. I've already created the woven part on the right side. Now I show you how to do it on the left. First, make sure that the braid is clearly secured so you won't braid on these sections to the woven part. Then I begin the woven part. Take the topmost section and bring it over the next, then under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and under. Then I secure this section on the right side with the clip. Take again the topmost section from the left side. Bring it first over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and over. Secure the strand with the clip again. Take a topmost section and start the weaving again. Bring the strand first over, then under, over, under, over, under, over, and under. 
secure the section with the clip on the right side. Continue the weaving like this. Start every time with the topmost section and bring the strand first over the next one. After every round you have less strands on your fingers so weaving getting easier and easier after every round. I think this way is probably the most easiest way to create the woven basket weave. Now when the weaving is ready, I pancake the itches just a little bit to create more volume for the look. Next step is braid these woven sections back to the braid, so you have your middle section and two side sections. First, you need to add hair to the left section. So take a topmost section which comes out from the woven part. Then take the small strand, bring it over the left side section and create a knot, just like you did before. Then take the right strand, add the topmost section from the right side. Then bring the small strand under this strand and create a knot. Then release the next strand from the left sided bowen section. Add this section to the left sided strand of the knotted diamond braid. Then take the middle section Bring it over and create a knot. Add new section of hair to the right side. Bring the small section under. And create a knot. Then add some hair to the left side. Bring the small strand over. Pull your fingers between the sections and pull the end of the hair back to the middle. Add hair again to the right side. Bring the small strand under and create a knot. Keep on repeating this pattern like this. When you add hair to the diamond braid, make sure to keep the strands you add in as tight as you can so the woven part will stay neat and it doesn't have a chance to undo. Next I will show you how to manage the last strands. Take a clips from the both sides and secure the last section to the opposite direction. That keeps all the rest of the strands on its right places. Then braid like before. On the left side bring the strand over and create a knot and on the right side bring the strand under and then create a knot.
Then release the last strands one by one and braid them in like every other strand before this. I'll create two accent braids on both sides of the hairstyle. So to simply take a three hair strands and braid normal three strand braid, you can bring hair as well over or under the middle strand. Also create a fisto braid under the diamond braid. So take a two sections of hair and start to bring smaller sections from side over to the middle. Take the edges of the braid if you want some volume. Next, I will aggregate this tile. Take the fisto braid, bring it under the diamond braid, and secure on the both sides. I use for this just simple bobby pins. Then, as you can see, I have a total of 4 accent braids. Take the one from both sides and bring it together under the diamond braid. Secure them on its place on the back of the diamond braid using the bobby pins. Then, take two more braids and bring them under the diamond braid as well. Secure with bobby pins. And if the hair is long enough, you can create the end of the braids another hook over the diamond braids. I used a small clip of wire to secure the shape. Here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video, have a lovely day!